Dear students, as you head out of secondary school, some of you know exactly what you want to do with your life, some of you don't. This letter is for the students who are still unsure about their goals and dreams. Sometime during my teenage years, I read a book by an American author who talked about finding your sweet spot in life. Sweet spot is a term borrowed from sports. For example, during a PE lesson, when you hit the shuttlecock at a precise part of the badminton racket and it gives you a beautiful serve. When you hit that sweet spot, you know it and it feels good. In life, this means being in a place in your life that feels right for you. How do you get to that sweet spot? Firstly, it's about your passion and interests. You may not have found it yet, but you will in time. Keep your mind and options open to new experiences. Think, what do I care about? What gets me enthused? Perhaps you love creating videos or performing on stage or helping others. The second is about your strength and skills. What are you good at? As a teacher, I know that each of you is unique. I had a student who was known as the class troublemaker, but when he presented his projects, it was with such confidence and charisma. I had a student who was very self-conscious, but she had a soulful voice and was so happy to be made vice president of the choir CCA. I had a student with special educational needs who struggled to make friends, but he had a creative and determined spirit. He is now studying his dream course at a polytechnic and making new friends. If any of you still think that you don't have any strengths or skills, ask your parents, your teachers or your good friends. Their answers will surprise you. The third is your attitude towards your life. We all go through good and bad experiences. Whether you choose to see these experiences as challenges that knock you down or opportunities for growth, it all depends on your attitude. I had a student who repeated his SEC 2 year three consecutive times. He came from a broken family and his peers at the time were not good company. He had no goals and his only interest was sports. I met him as his form teacher in his third year of repeating SEC 2. After several conversations, he decided it was time to change his attitude. At the end of the year, he did well enough to be promoted to SEC 3. More than his grades, what changed was his attitude. It was commendable and I was so proud. He continued to give his best, completed his N-level exams and pursued a course of his choice at the Institute of Technical Education. So, to the students who are still unsure of the path ahead, you are not alone. Like you, I didn't have clear goals either when I was 16 years old, but I held hope that one day I would find my sweet spot. I did and so will you.